All right, set two. She wants Fire Blaster to go Yoshi, but... I mean, he's made it this far with Fox. Yeah, yeah you know, you, you got to appreciate when people go different characters, you know? I appreciate it, because I do it all the time. Do you uh, respect, like, locking? Uh... Like, character locking? I don't think it would be result in good stuff, because then everyone would just choose characters that don't have really bad counterpicks. I mean, but, we haven't really seen it in Japan. Yeah, but... I don't know. I think there's less crazy matchups in the Japanese version. Like if I Ness, like if I had to lock Ness against Kirby's, I think everyone would just go like, well, actually, you know, I really would think it would be that bad. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I usually. I haven't given much thought, I guess I just sort of play whatever. What do you think? Um, I don't know, I think there's kind of like an honor in having like like one character that you devote yourself to. Eh, I don't know, I lose interest after a while. Yeah. Not to say that I lose interest in like Ness or anything, but like it's fun to switch it up. Yeah, I mean all the characters are like it's like so rich in their movement and yeah. their punishes that like like you don't want to like miss out on like learning all this really fun stuff. Yeah, everybody's got cool bows except for like Kirby. <laughs> oh, 96. Edge guard. The thing is, if, if Fox is around like ledge level, right, he has the option you can either go straight or you can go up. The thing is, you can cover the straight option, and if he decides to go up, you have t you normally have time to do something else. Huh. So uh, cover the straight option more, like yes, yeah, so you, you can start off by by covering the late option, but like do it so that you barely hit him at the end, and then if he decides to go up, you know. So something you can Jimmy Joe well. is adapting well here. I mean, Fire Blaster used to be like jumping up and like recovering kind of high, yeah. and then kind of like jumping up an aerial, like uh, like down uh, down air or F air. But um, Jimmy Joe's been doing a good job, like baiting that out and then just kind of waiting for him to fall. Nice chase there. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, very nice. Is this the uh, first game? It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Fire Blaster really likes it up there. I mean, it's good. Um, covers a lot of area. Yeah, the the rising up air. Yeah. yeah, it just makes this, like huge column. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but Fox is really good at like making just like just like cutting off like huge like vertical stretches of space yeah. like where you can't go because he's just like his jump is so quick. There we go. Just again. So that's the sort of way how Jimmy Joe wants us to go. You know, he, he can compete in the neutral if he just lands his edge guards. And then uh, it's very easy for him to end up on top. Wonder what the uh, Pope's up to tonight. The what? Wonder what the Pope's up to tonight. <laughs> Playing Smash, hopefully. Yeah, we should have uh, gotten him yeah. nebulous. Yeah, the Pope, uh, he played off stream, actually. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't get any of the Pope's matches on streams. <laughs> He's a mean Link. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, so he, I think Jimmy Joe was trying to do something. I don't think he was stuck in the shield. So, uh, he didn't have that grab box left, so he's facing the other way. Right. That's like one of the reasons that um, a fire blaster is able to like jab with that confidence. Yeah. Maybe he, uh, Jimmy Joe could have upbeat out or. Um, yeah, he can upbeat or or, or jump neutral air. Really, I was thinking uh, like jump uh, up air. Or up air too. Yeah. Well, yeah that comes out pretty quickly. Oh, not sure he wanted that. I think they killed himself last time he did that. <laughs> there we go. So I mean, Jimmy Joe's getting a lot of these early throws off stage. And he's letting Firebuster get back. Ooh, nice F tilt. Nice. That's that. Uh, you know, one thing that Jimmy Joe can do is that if he grabs the ledge, he can force Fox to go onto the stage, and then uh, Jimmy Joe can always get up and just up tilt. Or at least he can stand at the very edge of the stage, the stage and up tilt. I don't think Fox can get around that very easily. Oops. Sort of like that, but <laughs> he's a little too far yeah. away. I, I think uh, he also did it a bit too early. Yeah. Or a bit too late, rather. Yeah. Oh. So dangerous. Oh. Oof. Probably best really like rolling in. Maybe I don't know if Jimmy Joe can catch on. Oh. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Very, very nice. Yeah, goes for the neutral air. Yeah, I feel like we could have gotten the uh, like back, back air there. Air. Yeah. Oh. Alright, this definitely should be a stock. Jimmy just grabbed the ledge, but he's doing something like that. <laughs> I guess it works. Ooh, nice up, up smash. Freeze the grab, alright. See you can finish this off. It's kinda waiting for that tech. Yeah. There we go. Another good game from Jimmy Joe. He takes these up two games. So this is potentially Fire Blaster's last game. And uh, definitely change from last set. So what's Fire Blaster going to do? Is he going to stay Fox? Looks like he's... Yeah, so he's sticking it through. Well, it's respectable. I respect that. We'll see if uh, it serves him well. He's got a, he's got a tough hill to climb here. He's going to win three in a row. Yep, man, a matchup like this, that's... Yeah, it's task. tough. It's very tough. Oh, every time he up tilts shield, I get a little shiver. <laughs> you know, besides the Jim shiver Jim that I'm always doing it because of the cold anyway. Yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> Let's see, last time Fire Blaster was down two games, he kicked it into high gear. So we'll see if it does the same here. But he's got to kick into high gear for three matches straight. <laughs> it's a lot of time in high gear. Oh. That was a nice uh, up air on the uh, ledge by Jimmy Joe. There's like a standard amount of time that people shield after they tech, or like they're expecting an attack. Yeah. Ooh, nice. See, that's what Jimmy Joe wants. That's good. Oh, yeah. Fox literally has nothing that he can get through with the up tilt with. The only thing he can do is like try and time a down air or something, you know, but it's really hard. Ooh, that should be stuck. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Jimmy Joe does something fancy. Doesn't get it. There we go. So frustrating as a Fox player when you just attack it and just get immediately grabbed. Oh! oh. I think he had it if he had the up smash. That would have been dope to get on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think that's the reason why Fire Blaster is playing Fox. Do stuff like that. Ooh, nice dash attack. That should be the stock. You don't need to go out there. I think Jimmy Joe needs to recognize when Fire Blaster just can't make it back, you know? Instead of just going out, trying to regain stage control. And, because Fox is fast. You don't want to be caught in the invincibility. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's an extremely important point with Ness. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Link, too. Uh, You know, some almost, if Link is almost always holding a bomb after in between stocks because I'm uh, too worried yeah, about yeah, the yeah. ability. Yeah, uh, we talked about this a lot during um, like uh, finals. Was that at uh, like Lurcher's finals? Yeah, okay. Yeah. They were talking about that a lot, giving away all your secrets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's an uh, open secret. Ooh, nice grab there. Can barely the edge guard. Oh. Uh, uh, getting like a really great. Uh, like like ever chain to spike with Ness and then just like getting edge guarded like yeah, under recovery so, is it's, like it's very frustrating. <laughs> it's one of the worst feelings. I mean it feels good, but it still feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice, sad yeah, that is down tilt. It's, it's rough. You really gotta be out of range. Probably I think I like uh, doing a lot with the Hori, which like you can do pretty easily is uh, like when you get a first jab on shield with Fox, you can uh, pivot behind them and then start jabbing them from yeah, behind. Yeah, yeah. Five Buster really just needs to pivot. I mean, there's no, you know, you can still be in the same amount of stun pretty much. There's no reason not to pivot. Ooh. So, you know, this is a tough situation here. He's got to figure out what to do. It's tough. Joe likes that get-up attack. But he's not under that much pressure. No, but so you can, you can kind of like think in a. Um, yeah, you can take your time, but. Yeah, Fox can really cover Pikachu's recovery options pretty well. Yeah. Huh. It's that fancy ledge grab. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he must have been like two thirds through it there. He definitely could have just up smashed and broken the shit. Ooh, that's death. Oof. Wow, so. Fire Blaster's high gears is working right now, but. That's a great pressure on shields to uh, do the down air on the platform and land on the platform. Oh, yeah, Fire Blaster's gonna grab the ledge. Oh wow! Just wow. Grab the ledge. Oh. I don't think Jimmy Joe's done that once this set. Just grab the ledge against Fox. He's doing better at uh, edge guarding. Yes. Um, but Fire still. Blaster than he was. He's getting better at like baiting out the aerials. Like, uh, Fire Blaster is like. <laughs> like coming back on the stage with an aerial like a lot. Yeah. And uh, Jimmy Doe right. is starting to get good at uh, baiting those out and then punishing. But it seems he's relapsed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well. 94%. Won't take much either player right now. Ooh. That's the grab. What comes next now? Nothing. Yes, yeah, I think a, like a back throw may have done him better there. Yeah. It's like that just put him back on the stage. Oh. Alright, Lester stays alive. Wow. Can you do it two more times? It's tough. It's very tough. What? Like, like winning um, like a matchup like this consistently takes like a, just like a large degree of dominance. It does, yeah. Like, like sustained dominance. <laughs> sustained dominance, yes. <laughs> Can Fire Blaster sustain his dominance? That's the big question tonight. The thing is, Jimmy Joe can also crack. What? <laughs> that wasn't out of grab. You had like enough time for me to get frustrated that he didn't grab yet. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Nice, that's it. That was a nice uh, fastball up air. I like seeing that. Travis getting 
the ledge. All right. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. It's a work of art. Crybots are really being patient here. I think he realizes that it's time to catch a little bit. It's getting shot. <laughs> Oh, the I think, tail, yeah, yeah, he wanted the dash up there. Oh, it's caught. It's playing around. Oh, very nice. Okay, it's all right. Recovered. Just grab the ledge here, but there we go. oh wait, you know, I, I don't. I hope you didn't hear me. That was wrong. <laughs> All right. How should you play if you have a lead like this? Oof. Um, just go for the edge guards and then go for the trades. You know? yeah, I, I mean, like, like in general, like if if you have like a strong lead, like, like what, like what adaptations like should you make that kind of like make it hard for a comeback to happen? I don't know. The way I approach it is if I'm playing good and I have a lead, I should just play the same way I'm doing because it's, apparently it's working. You know. Right. And uh, this is probably about the last stock, so he's gonna bunker down. Oof, nice. Tough spot here for Fire Blaster. This is bad. He's a back. Up tilt to see he's gonna go across the flats. Ooh, ducked. <laughs> How much does a uh, crash canceling reduce knockback by? I don't know, it's gotta be at least a half. Oh, it's gotta be more than a half. <laughs> sniped. Yeah, that was a sniped. sniped. Yeah. I mean, not quite. Alright. Oof. Oh, flub of all flubs. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. Let's see it finish up off. There we go. Okay. Saves it. <laughs> Jimmy Joe. Jimmy Joe leaves Flub yeah. City. Jimmy Joe wins it. Yeah, and uh, he takes Nebulous Eight. Wow. Tio wins his own tournament. Wow. Very nice. And you know he deserved it. I think he played really well today. Yeah. Um, well deserved. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Joe is texting his girlfriend, telling her the good news. <laughs> hopefully they, hopefully she realizes the gravity of the situation here. Well. Yeah, I think we're gonna. Uh, I think we're all gonna tap out. Everyone's kind of hungry. Yeah, yeah, get in here. Well, yeah, he would have won if he went Yoshi, but still, he was he was trying to be like yeah. I'll just say all something. Thoughts. You gotta respect when play p people choose different characters and trying something new, you know. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have blamed you if in the like second set when you were down two two to two zero, if you were like, you know what, I'm gonna whip out the Yoshi. You know, I wouldn't like I would have blamed you.
I would have. I would have. He would have. Yeah, you're, you're hardcore. Right. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Right? And you still almost won it, you know? It's also fun, right? It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I like that uh, I was able to do that well because some of the stuff I did as Fox I have never done before. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I was so close to so many shield breaks. You did have so many. Cl yeah, if you would have up smashed. Probably. And you yeah. know, like. I've had some. I've had so many bad moments with like Yoshi, where if I had done one more nair and then up smash, it would have killed, but uh, broken the shield, and then doesn't, and I'm just stuck there. Oh no! So yeah. I, I'm afraid of doing up smash, and like if if I just do shine, if I mess up, like you just you're stuck in your shield. You're yeah, exactly. There's not not much we can do if you mess up. Oh, so David, hold on. We're just going to hold the mic in front of whoever's talking. Just think of it as mic. Yeah, so we were saying that when you were pressuring people, a lot of times you would stay in front of them. And you end up, and like if you if the pressure isn't perfect, you'll get grabbed. Whereas, you know, if while you're pressuring, you just pivot and then just stay behind them. It's, you know, you're in a much better position against Pikachu if you're just behind them just pressuring their shield because they can't, cause Pikachu can't grab. They can't. Has to up B or yeah, and I actually relied like if I'm playing uh, Boom or someone and they are Fox, I, I know that I'm not going to be able to get a shield grab on them when they're pressuring me, and I got a few on you. You like did you did you did a double down tilt on me at one point? It was like a crucial moment, like a throw off two down tilts. And I know like your the way you move with Fox, your movement, your ability to combo is all there, but there's a few things like where I. You're a much better player than me, and there was a few moments where I knew you were doing the wrong thing because you, you just weren't pressuring me right. You gave me a shield grab like that at your level is like inexcusable. You can fix that easily. I mean, you yeah, know, yeah, no, right? I, I, right? I agree. Um, because I, agree. I believe you're that, one of the that, best that, players. That's how I see the game. Like, yeah. if, like every moment I got hit was an error I made, and I can yeah. fix that error. It's not, it's not like oh, I, I, I just need to accept it or like oh, you're just better. You're just gonna beat me in the. Exactly. No, that's not true. You get yeah. And see, like, I do that, what you do, I'll up tilt on shield and get shield grab. And I know it's wrong. It's something I gotta fix. You know, and obviously, like, for, for both of us, like, playing as Fox, there's some things like shield pressures, like, I don't know, some things that are really good for him when you're not shielding, like, to continue combos, up tilt, down tilt, jab, just don't work on shield unless you pivot behind him so you don't have as much risk. Jimmy Joe, for you, I. I yeah, I don't want to just like <laughs> just shout inside. But no, so constructive criticism. So big thing is the edge guards. Uh, near the very end, you were, you were getting. I was so scared. I was just nervous. I knew I was. Yeah, it was terrible. So, I wasn't. You no, know, against the fox. Really. Sorry, I say I don't play Pikachu, but uh, you know, people edge guard me. Um, fox can either really do two things. You can either go to the ledge or you can go. Um, and so the, the end, you did it. You were doing it well, but really, if you just like hang on the ledge. Force Fox to go up, get up, and then just start up tilting. Um, if you up tilt right next to the ledge, Fox cannot do anything if he's above you. The only thing he can do is like try and time down it or something, or like stall with a shine or something. If there. you're just right on the edge, just up tilt. And Fox is, is a god. Yeah, Boom does that all the time against Fox. He'll just stand, he'll just roll into the ledge, yeah, and then he'll time the winner, he'll read whether you're fast or not, and then up tilt. Fox can do nothing except get past him. And even then, he's like, like because Pikachu hope oh, boom messes up. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be home until like 6 a.m. because I'm going to Brooklyn. Yeah, my girlfriend's bartending at the club, so I'm gonna go there as soon as, after we clean up, maybe eat something. You missed your, you missed all the training. I'm sure someone like. I mean... Yo, you guys!
Yeah, now that I think about it, LD tends to do that. When he finds out that you don't know how to have an answer to it, he'll just pivot. He'll just pivot behind you while while you're in your shield. He'll, he'll when you're when he's pressuring your shield, he'll pivot behind you and start jabbing you like that. Boom does with Fox. Uh, LD. Oh, LD. Yeah. Yeah. He even pivots when he get lands to hit. So like, hit, <laughs> pivot, hit. Jab. stage and started gaining some stage control you'd be in a better spot for the next stop uh, and so i mean you, you can watch the vids i'll, I'll i'm yeah i'll, I'll rewatch it like oh. yeah, well, I, 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 I hate watching it watch though i felt like when i when you and i were playing pyro that i felt in tournament speed wise like i felt like there was a point where we both couldn't hit each other we both felt so on point obviously other Times were or not, but felt like we we're. All right, see you later, man. So you're going, you're going for the train. All right, all right, brother. Thanks for coming. Weed wax out. Um, but yeah, there was times where I felt like we were moot dancing, re that really tight dance yeah. in there. Yeah, I was just saying like. Link was just be able to like throw shit, like rush in, and beat people down. But a lot of these these matchups against these higher level players are trying to like tense, like zoning, like patient yeah, so matches, and it's not something I'm used to. It's, uh, it takes a lot of patience. I think you do it well though. I feel like we're all that exhausted me like tonight, having to play you and having to play him in three sets. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really tired right now. Thanks for playing that. Cold hand. I was I like I was, I, had, I had to open my jacket. Oh, can you turn the game volume down? Uh, no, not up there. Number three, three slash four, three slash four. To the left. Really. Yeah, there you go. But well, I think we might call it anyway. It's almost time to. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, we gotta. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll let you know when me and Fyro are doing our uh, hanging with the bows. Yeah. Soon, we gotta do one of these. Yeah. Just anyone that's within three hours of this place should at least come here once, okay? I live like four hours away from this place, and I came when the Pope was in town. So. Yeah, when the Pope was in town. And uh, thank you, you know, thank you so much for coming out. It meant a lot. Like, it, it really hyped me up to be here. I was so excited. I don't know if you saw, but I like, I was tweeting, like, I tweeted, <laughs> I tweeted, I Facebooked it. I was like, yeah, well, Fire Blast is gonna be here, so. Yeah, we were, we were commentating, we whacked. I uh, was wondering what the Pope was up to, and I, I told the stream that all his matches were off stream. We didn't get any of the Pope's matches on stream. <laughs> yeah, he played Jiggly, right? Yeah, and he was pretty good. You know, he uh, he rested a lot. He likes to rest. Oh yeah, at his age. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we, we didn't we didn't we didn't record them. So next time. All right, cool. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. All right. We'll see you guys Peace. soon.